that ring right there is 27,500 euros. Those earrings cost 13,500 euros. That necklace is 11,500. Come on, bro. In this video, I'll be going to the Louis Vuitton store, the Rolex store. Ooh. I'll also be going to the Louvre Museum in Paris and also the Musée d'Orsay Museum. Stay tuned. But first, we hit the gym. morning uh, Kiko Chops films once again we are back with a brand new day brand new video another banger um so today we're heading back to Paris we're still in Paris we're heading back to town um still touring around the city today I'm wearing a different uh, flag uh so Grenada and of course kind of shoes um, to them not representing Kenya just representing Grenada because we don't have any finals today we have uh, the guys from Grenada um, performing Kirani James Kirani James anyways so see you in Paris hope you enjoy the video subscribe peace there you go <laughs> marathoners I mean, it's unfortunate, but uh, there's this lady who I always find here on the street begging. Uh, I'm in a place called Marie de Cliché, and uh, no, it's uh, so unfortunate that I find her. She's begging here on the streets, man. I mean, I never thought I'd find something like this here in Paris because, man. Street people here in Paris, there's so many, unlike compared to the Netherlands or the other cities I've been to, like Belgium. But hey, it is what it is, man. So, right now, oh, I'm still walking down and now I'm going to get to me a Trump, the underground network, the complicated underground network. I'm passing through the same street now on a different perspective. Uh, if you look at it from this angle, the street art looks very very beautiful uh, yesterday I went to another place another city Paris is a uh, I think there's so many graffiti artists um, I also believe one of the best artists in the world came from or rather some of the best artists we have in the world come from Paris and uh, like for example we have a uh, we have uh, Mona Lisa, for example, and then uh, we also have uh, uh, who's this man? How can I forget? I mean, just know some of the best they come from Paris. So I think that's the reason why we have graffiti, all those graffitis, in almost everywhere you go, you find graffiti, graffiti, like uh, see graffiti right there, graffiti there, and also yesterday the city I went to. There was a lot of graffiti like right there also. But it is amazing though because uh, I like everything about this place, the graffiti, everything you see about here, it is amazing. Uh, but the thing is some of these uh, graffiti people they just learners, they just on a bandica to anything on the walls you know they just write anything on the walls like in this wall like right here that's that's some graffiti yes but that's some amateur type shit graffiti because 
anything. So some of them are just spoiling the buildings, some are good, some are not. And uh, that is a biker right there. Nangoja for lounge. There you go. Right here, this is the metro, and uh, we're taking the metro from here. We're going down. These guys are junkies, man. Hey, man. Hey, listening to some hip hop music. Say Dennis Chatterton. Chatterton. The train system in Paris is called the Paris Metro or Metro de Paris. The metro can be the quickest and easiest way to travel short distances. In the metro, the T plus ticket allows you to travel the entire network. In the RER, T plus ticket allows you to travel only within Paris. Paris Metro or Metro de Paris is a rapid transit metro system serving the capital city of Paris within Ile de France. It's the second busiest metro system in Europe. The system is 245.6 kilometers, that's 152 miles long, mostly underground. It has 320 stations, of which 61 have transfers between lines. There are 16 lines with an additional four under construction. In 2015 alone, the daily ridership was estimated to be 416 million euros and uh, the annual ridership for that year was 1.5 billion euros. Operation began in the year 1900 and it has over 700 trains. Alright, so we are here and uh come kawaida look at that citron that's an old school in paris nice good stuff <laughs> a nice car and uh right now it's around 12. we have a jogger she might be going to the marathon over the weekend beautiful buildings This is one of the bikes I told you about for hire. Uh, so we are in the expensive part of uh, Paris. That's the Levi's shop. Calvin Klein is right there. Salomon. Ah, look at noise. The police. All of the police. Then uh, we have Lululemon or uh, Lululemon, Lulumelon, Lulumelons. Then uh, Ola Lingerie. All right, so let's head this way and uh, see what we have. That's a nice building right there. Look at that! God damn! Fab guys, wow, this is one of the most expensive streets we have. It's one of the many expensive streets. And uh, yeah, people with money come and spend it around uh, these areas. Welcome to Paris. Sheesh, look at that. I don't want to know how much that shoe is, but bro, that is one expensive shoe. <laughs> Even the doors, are, the handle doors are the golden color. The place is locked. Only make an appointment when you want to come. It's another street. It's called uh, Muscalaria and a Tesla, of course, a Tesla. Welcome to Paris, where 
money is not an issue <laughs> Me, I'm wearing uh, Saucony. These shoes of mine costed me uh, about, uh, I think, two euros. I mean, uh, around ten euros. <laughs> oh my goodness. And uh, in case you want to buy a Rolex, OMG. Check this out. Expensive watches. Jesus Christ. No, that's a genuine Rolex. No, that's a legit Rolex. Okay, look at that. That is how a genuine Rolex looks like. Damn, bro. Others are gold plated. Like that one is diamond. It has diamond around it. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. That one has diamond and gold in it. This necklace here goes for I don't want to know. That ring right there is thirty-seven thousand five hundred euros. Those earrings cost thirteen thousand five hundred euros. That necklace is eleven thousand five hundred. Come on, bro. All of stuff is expensive. That watch goes for how much? Let's see. Nine thousand six hundred. Hey, <laughs> bro. Thirty-nine thousand five hundred. What the shit, bro? It, this is crazy. Look at that. Fifteen thousand. Thirty-three thousand. Thirty thousand. Man, look at mine. I'm wearing a watch costing me two euros. Really, really, really nice. 
the fall season. The 90s, the 90s Air Max, old school. I think these are the ones that, uh, if you come to Kenya, some of those are the ones coming to fashion. But anyway, yeah. it is like these um, boots are wearing, not like this. It's a pony. Alright, I'm on the next one, let's go. I guess I'm watching this. 39 euros. Alright, uh, so I just left the Nike store right there. And uh, I'm still in Paris. Got me something, a gift. Well, I was being gifted a gift. That's the Nike store. And uh, yeah, when you come to Paris, or somehow when you go to Rome, you become a Roman. Yeah? So when you go to Paris, you act like the Paris, the people in Paris. So it's got me something and uh, feels good, man. Feels good. Got me a t shirt. Very expensive. Like, in, you know, life is for the living. <laughs> Rolex to see the new Omega. Look at these guys here. These guys. Look at those guys passing. Those guys just smell money. They just look like money, dressing like money. Look at me, I'm all money. <laughs> I'm in Paris, baby. And I'm loving it. Look at those guys passing me. Oh, man. We're just holding money on their hands. That is the Louis Vuitton, Vuitton, Vuitton. Call it whatever, bro. That's the Louis Vuitton store in Paris. Wow, let's go check that out. And there are two buildings. There's one here, this one here, and there's the other one in front. Now that's the LG, LV, the, the, the original LV. What channel is in the of up the street? All right, this is a zebra crossing. Ooh, the LV. Do we enter the LV store or nah? We'll just pass me. Ooh, the GTR, baby. The GTR. Nice. And that's the Louis Vuitton building. Let's go check the other Louis Vuitton building. Yeah, whatever that is. That's another Louis bag right there. Uh, hmm. 2,400 euros. 2,800 euros. Whatever that is. That bag right there. Oh, that's the original Louis bag. Yeah. Even the white people are looking. Yeah, they're also taking photos, man. They know how expensive that is, man. Yeah. 
Everybody is taking photos, man. Look at that. And here is the other building. Ah. Yeah, and uh, just so you know, the street of uh, where the Louis V is is called uh, Avenue Champ. Uh, Ale, yeah, Ale, what? Ale, 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 Cs, Ale, Sam, Sam. Yeah, that. That's the street. That's Louis V. And opposite is the new Louis V building coming up in the next few months, so to speak. <laughs> And that is the Louis Vuitton building. Uh, hold this for that. Let me walk. Walking progress. So I think it's the, uh, the new Louis Vuitton building. I guess they move from there to here. Yeah. 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 And uh, I think we're done with the Louis. The Louis is under construction, and uh, the design is like the bag we saw on the other side, which costed around a uh, uh, thousand euros, more than a thousand euros. And uh, on this other side, we have the boss. Here's the boss building, and. Uh, Boss is basically about uh, suits and uh, official wear. Look at that guy. If you dress like that, you are a boss. <laughs> oh, if this is not Kipchoge, then I don't know. This must be Kipchoge. <laughs> Good stuff. Nice. Uh, nice technique. Uh. All right. So this street right here, right there, we have uh, Louis Vuitton. Then we have Boss. Then we have Monclava right here. And then this one is uh, Saint Laurent. All the way up. Yeah, I think that guy just said it right. He's French. He said Saint Laura. <laughs> Saint Laura. Then now uh, these guys right here. Where are they? Samsung. So na pata watu kahawa. Anything that comes out, they know fast. So kyo na watu yuko mlango probably. There is a new Samsung coming out. I'll check that out. And then uh, next to Samsung we have uh, Dior, <laughs> Christian Dior. Yeah, this is what a restaurant should look like. A little restaurant, bana. On the streets, bana of Naiko uh, Anyone can walk in. Uh, Look at that building right there. Oof. That is a nice building. Then, Beleraki Palette is another building.
Underground, yeah. Underground is right here. The Louvre Museum is a national art museum in Paris. It was established on the 10th August of 1793. It is an art museum and a historic site with a collection of 615,797, of which 35,000 are on display. Wow. Definitely, definitely amazing. Wow, look at that. Sheesh. Wow, let me stop for a second right here. All that building goes all the way. That's the museum. It goes all the way and round. And then there's this class right here. I've seen it in the movies. I have no idea what that is. And the whole building continues all the other side, all the way. It stops there. And this side. Wow. Let's go around this glass house. I mean, if you've watched uh, most American movies or movies that have been acted here in Europe, I believe you familiar with this glass right here I don't know what movie is but yeah we'll find out and then I'll let you guys know then you have the Olympic ring right there so yeah definitely you have to take a photo with that Olympic ring the judge to the Olympics without that ring right yep so we are here definitely uh look at that I think you've seen that glass uh, in the movies. New glass come up, they run up on movies. I have no idea, bro. But definitely, that is amazing. That's the museum. You went like, round and round and round. And also that glass right there. Um, and also this other side. That building is amazing. But that glass right there. So not seen it in the movies. Then I don't know what you're doing. I cannot get closer. But, yep, I can only take a photo. session at uh, the Olympic ring Palenuma and uh, of course I'm wearing uh, my Kenyan jersey Lazima to represent that's the triangle that's the museum so right now I'm heading to the museum Pulendani um, there's nothing more to see here. You are in a trauma, so I hope you enjoyed the scenery and uh, let's uh, keep on um, to a different part of the But of course, when you come to Paris, definitely it's 100% electric. The two of us, there you go, and uh, that's the outside of the museum. It's called the Pavilion D. Paris. And uh, also from here you can see the Eiffel Tower, that building right there. And then also these are the taxis here in Paris.
getting the other side of Paris, the graffitis, the stickers. This is what they don't show us on TV. The Musée d'Orsay is a museum in Paris, France, on the left bank of Seine. It is housed in the former Gare d'Orsay, a Bux Arts railway station built between 1898 and 1900. The museum holds mainly French art dating from 1848 to 1914, including paintings, sculptures, furniture, and photography. It houses the largest collection of Impressionist and Post-Impressionist masterpieces in the world. In 2022, it was ranked number two museum in the country with 3.2 million visitors. And globally, it was ranked number 15 in the world. The museum building was originally a railway station. By 1939, the station's short platforms had become unsuitable for the longer trains that had come to be used for mainline services. After 1939, it was used for suburban services and part of it became a mailing center during the World War II. A lot of movies have been acted in this building an example is the series called Lupin. From the museum, we are on the rooftop, and uh, that building right there is uh, where we were yesterday. The church, the Catholic church, something, something. Another video is moving. And also from here, you can. Um, another big monument is. Uh, we call it Eiffel Tower. I think it's behind this building. You cannot see. It's right behind this building. Then uh, this is the museum, very full there, another landmark, another museum. I think French, France is all about museums and uh, the building is pretty much about uh, the art. How the buildings are designed, they take the time, look at them. It's not the bandika bandika top of cement. Take the time. 
Right now, I think I'm just hungry, but oof, I cannot get enough of this. I think the best thing is just to enjoy the view. And uh, so that's what you guys are supposed to do. Enjoy the view.